Peace, peace, y'all. How you doing? What's going on? I'm Chaka Laman Ra. This is part four, and it will be the last, final one, because it's the answer. I'm going to give you the answer to what I was talking about in part three. Before we do that, let's pay all due respects to the creator. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. I'm on. Let's get right into it. Answer as clear as this here. If you're not ready to walk with your mate side by side and submit to your mate, both of you, not the woman submit to the man, not the man submit to the woman, is you both submit. You must submit. Because all you're going to do is war at each other. Then you're going to start saying hateful things. You understand? It's going to become nasty. You don't have to go to war with each other all the time. You can disagree. And then, you know, you'll see that your argument is going to be totally different. It will be based on that which you disagreed. That's it. You won't have to sit there and go, I hate your guts. I can't stand you. You know, I don't know why the hell I'm with you in the first place. You ain't, listen, you ain't rich. You ain't got no money. You're lazy. You stink. I'm tired of smelling your behind. Oh, you know what? Every time I turn around, you always on the phone. You always talking to your girlfriends. You always talking about, talking about you got male friends. What you need male friends for? Hmm? Why they calling you all the time? Hmm? I know one of them want to get close to you. You probably already did something with them. You broke. Every time you get paid, you broke. Why are you broke? Huh? You don't know how to establish nothing. I want to go out. I want to spend money. You got a job? Why you don't get up and do what you want to do? Huh? Because my money's constantly going to bills, 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 bills. For example. <laughs> Huh? My answers to this got nothing to do with none of the books. Got nothing to do with stats. It's got to do with you. My woman is Puerto Rican Dominican. She happens to speak Latin. But see, I understand where the Latin culture comes from. I understand they also come from the background of melanated people, dark-skinned people. See, I know that, doing my research. I've done research on Dominicans. I've done my research on Puerto Rican, the Puerto Rican islands where the slave trade came through all that. I understand why there's a, you know, a little conflict between um, Puerto Rico is like between the dog skin and like same thing here in America. But they got problems too. It's like everybody else. We put things that don't belong. But what I found out through the years, you don't know who you really are. You don't know what tribe you come from. Let's be honest. You don't know what tribe you come from. You, you D, have you tested your DNA? Have you found out what culture you come from? What continent your descendants come from? You don't know none of these things because you don't care. You say, I've been born in America and this is where I come from, period. Or I was born in this country and I moved here to this country, period. You don't care. Why should you want to, why should you go through all these things? What are you trying to prove? Understandable. Now, my thing is this. When people sit there and love is love, it's yeah, actually you're right. Since the beginning, people's been getting people has been getting with each other. One way or another. Let's be real. The reason why a lot of you are in relationships that fail because you mess with people who you're not supposed to mess with. I, my distance are from the islands, from St. Croix. That's part of it, okay? St. Croix, I live here in New York City for many years of my life. My family tree goes to the islands. My family tree also goes extend from that point. 
I mean, goes beyond that. Across the waters. Understand that what I recognize is this. Your eyes see what it wants. It don't matter what culture you come from. If I would go to Africa and I happen to see this beautiful African woman and our eyes locked in and then the frequency begins to transform, all this is men false. Basics? You like somebody? Guess what? You connect. But because I'm brown and she might be darker brown, is this fine? But her culture is completely different from mine. Am I willing to submit to understand her culture? Is she's willing to admit to understand my culture? We're not from the same continent. The only reason why you're fine with it is because we're both brown. But, but the minute you find out that she's African, save from the land that, the land from Congo or Syria or Liberia, people that's among us, even in her continent, find out that I'm from America and what I'm doing in America, the people in that area begins to start. For what? They don't got to live with us. They ain't got to pay bills or do the things we have to do. Understand where I'm coming from? Make a decision. Make a decision. I'm going to tell you something. I got a friend of mine. He says, man, I, I just, I can't be in a, I can't, I'm constantly having problems with these women in these relationships, man. You know what I told Maybe you mess with the wrong kind of women. Because I got something for you real quick, real fast. Yeah, I know this, the story of Cain and Abel, right? Let's do it real quickly. Cain killed his brother. He spoke to God. He says, if anybody sees me, if anybody knows about what I did, they're going to want to kill me. God says, what? Uh, if anybody kills Cain it was seven times the foal, they will suffer. Okay. The Bible tells you Cain found a woman. Now, psychologically, a lot of you will say what you want, but there were other people on the planet besides Adam and Eve, right? Interracial. Now, if Cain and Abel, according to your story, they obviously were black people because, and if they wasn't black people, he just took this woman. It never explained where she come from, who she was. He just grabbed this woman. Off the story goes, can't have babies, blah, 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 blah. Hmm? Where does this come from? In, then it's a quick story, real quick. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 2, when it tells you that men be started having more daughters on the planet, and the lords that was here, basically I call it the fallen angels, came down and slept with these women. The fallen angels, what they were half gods. Slept with these women, and these women got pregnant. So obviously they had to be half of something to have this relationship with the women. Two different species, human and beings, according to your Bible, what that tells you. There is no rules of who you're going to be with. There's no rules. People make rules for you. People will sit up there and subject their negativity into your relationship and then you start to believe this crap and this is what messes you up. I wasn't going to let nobody, I told my wife straight up the top, I don't want to hear nothing about nobody. And you know what, my wife's like, I'm not hearing either. 
Because these same people ain't coming to your house to cook you food to eat. They ain't doing none of these things. Remember that. I'm chocolate almond around. I have to finish this. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a I think a five. I didn't want to, but I have to finish this. See in see him five.